We've just released our quarterly outlook in which the key development is the results of the UK referendum. This is expected to be a relatively important development for both the UK and the European economies, but we think the impacts on the rest of the global economy will be relatively muted. We have seen very significant impacts, however, in the currency and interest rate space. So the US dollar has appreciated significantly since then, um, global bond yields have fallen very significantly, and we think both those developments will have an impact on monetary policy in the United States and in Canada, and other parts of the world as well. Um, where now we think that in the United States, the Feds uh, will not raise interest rates this year uh, and will only raise them about 75 basis points next year, which is much lower, than, much less than we'd have thought earlier. Likewise, in Canada, we now think the Bank of Canada will increase interest rates for the first time at the end of next year as opposed to the middle of next year. Overlaying all of this are developments in commodity markets, which of course are going to be affected by a slightly weaker global outlook. That being said, we do think the oil prices will continue to rise from an average of about $45 a barrel this year to $55 next year. Needless to say, there's a tremendous amount of uncertainty in all these forecasts and we'll be looking at incoming data pretty closely over the next few months to determine whether or not um, those views are uh, borne out.